We are here in Wolcott Town Hall with Senator Markley from the 16th District, and we're here to talk to him about his bill, um, proposed Bill 131, an act eliminating the requirement to add fluoride to the public water supplies. Um, would like to speak about this bill a little bit? It was, uh, it's, it's not something that I had thought about deeply before I put it in. I, Rob Sampson, the state representative here, and I have uh, really made an effort over the last two years to try to find mandates that are not necessary. And at some point I said, gee, what is the flora, is fluoridation of a state mandate or where is it coming from? And I found out that it is in fact a state mandate and I thought, on principle, it seems to me that that's a decision that could be made at the local level. Um, that said, the more I've looked at it, um, I think that there's uh, that the science of it is perhaps more uh, debatable than uh, than a lot of people realize. Uh, there's a when you when you first bring it up, people say, "Oh, gee, it's all been proven. Fluoride is uh, it's been a great benefit. It doesn't it doesn't cause any problems." it's a done deal and anyone who says otherwise is uh, is out on a fringe somewhere. But in it, it just a, a small amount of, uh, of research over the last few weeks, I've found, what do you, you say, peer-reviewed articles in very reputable uh, publications that bring up questions about, first of all, the efficacy of fluoridation through the water versus the topical application of fluoridation in toothpaste or by a dentist. And second, the effects of fluoride uh, uh, specifically questions raised about um, whether it causes uh, brittle bones that might lead to hip fractures, um, whether it has had a developmental impact in some cases, uh, whether it has an effect on uh, thyroid function. Lots of different questions that have been raised. I start to feel, when I look at that, I, I knew that it's not like I thought the bill's going to go in and they're going to pass it and, and, and suddenly it'll be, it'll be um, a, a matter of debate at every local level. But it, did, it was a way to start a conversation on it. And, um, and I'll see where that goes. I, I, I don't think anything's going to happen this session. It could be when we get to the off session, I'll have a chance to perhaps have an informational hearing, bring people in to talk about it and so forth. Is there, is there anything... Um uh, I guess say normal people. I guess the, the, the citizens of the the private sector uh, can do to help get this bill through. Well, it's in the public health committee. So if people want to contact uh, the public health committee at the state capitol, uh, you can go to you know there's a there's a general assembly website, uh, cga.ct.gov. Um, and at that, it lists all the committees, lists the committee members, the phone numbers, the, the chairs, and uh, the, that's where it is. If it's going to go anywhere, it would come out of the Public Health Committee. I have to say honestly, at this point, and with all the other things floating around, I'm not expecting anything to happen this spring. We'll see if... Uh, if there's if there's support to take a to take a further look at it, and I would like to find out more about it myself. I feel like I I kind of stuck my finger in the air to see um, what the response was and what I'd find out. And I've had a I mean I've had a lot of pushback from uh, dentists who are very. Um, very committed to this program, and I, I, I like and respect dentists. I don't dismiss that out of hand, but I wonder if they have looked at at it lately. And I know they had a struggle to do it back in the 50s, and there may be a real dread of revisiting it. But uh, I'm a great fan of revisiting things. I think that we should always uh, we should always be retesting what we're doing to make sure that we're not making a mistake. Nice, nice. Um, how about um, the idea of unconsensual? Um mandatory medication yeah well that's that's part of it philosophically is to say that um, well it, it's it's it, we, in Europe many European countries the only only uh, Great Britain uh, in Europe still is doing it the European countries went to it and then they backed away from it and what they do instead of among other things is they put uh, you can get fluoridated salt or you take salt, or you take fluoride tablets, or whatever. But at least that gives people an out. Now the dentist's concern would be, well, people are going to take out and uh, take the out, and they're going to have worse teeth. You end up asking, how much do we want government to be taking care of us? Um, and I think I would have a, even even if um, 
it was it was even if it, 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 it it's absolutely harmless and it is beneficial i think there's still a question about whether you want to just be dumping it in the water there's a very strange way of doing it too by dumping it in the water you're not controlling dosage at all mm -hmm. um it, it it can be something that's that's harmful in in large quantities and it is like any like anything it has different effects on different people and um, it, it, the other thing is that a huge percentage of it doesn't do anyone's teeth any good because it's being used to wash clothing or, or dishes or cars or whatever, whatever else you use the water for in your house. Uh, we only drink a certain percentage of it. But the way to get involved in politics, very easy, is find out if you're Republican, Democrat, um, and it's really easier to get involved if you're a Republican or a Democrat versus not having an affiliation. Find out when and where the local party town committee in your town meets. Show up at the meeting, introduce yourself to the chairman for the party in your town, um, and that is the, that's the doorway into political involvement, really. If you're on a town committee, you know what's going on. The next year, the gubernatorial candidates will be coming to speak to the town committee, the congressional candidates. You can go to conventions. You can run for a town office. In no time, you're, you're, you're part of the political process. And the town committees, by and large, are eager to have people, and especially young people, uh, show up like vampires. They, they, they're looking for fresh blood. It's the same people that have been there for years. So they're, they're generally there's very few barriers to getting involved, and that, I think, is the most direct and the most effective way of doing it. The fluoride naturally goes to that source for protection, and it'll, it'll embed itself in the bone or the teeth and won't hurt anybody until a point is reached where the soft tissues of the body are no longer able to absorb the fluoride. Then it's just, then it's free to exert general toxic effects on the rest of the tissues of the body. And it manifests itself in any number of diseases or, uh, or sicknesses or whatever the case may be. Mr. Representative, how are you doing today? One question, please. Uh, fluoridation of the public water supply. How do you feel about that, sir? How do you feel? Fluoridation of the public water supply. Do you believe the people should be poisoned by the state? No, I don't think... Can we repeal that bill, sir? The, the, the CDC... Can we repeal that bill, sir? Excuse me, Ms. Senator, I have a question. Uh, fluoridation of public water supply, well, do, you, do you agree or disagree with that? Fluoridation of the public water supply. Hey, we're not... Listen, I told you, you're not stopping people as they come in, all right? Do you have a ticket? It's been taken out of my hand, that's all. So who do I go to next? You, the city officials will be contacting you. Who? Hmm. You'll be hearing from Mr. Carver, you'll be hearing from Mr. Gary, and you'll probably be hearing from our local Webber PD. I've actually got a hold of uh, PD. Yeah. Why would the police department be involved? So, I'm just instructed to tell you that. Okay. I've been taking off the whole thing, so oh, you, okay. you can, is actually, this on? Yeah, it's You on. can shut this off, we're, we're done. Well, all right. Well, I'm not trying to talk, but yeah. it'll stay on. But I really appreciate your time. Thank you, Mr. Wilson.